Hi guys, it's Katie here again from Bella Creativa and I'm still working on my collaborative project with Done by Dorothy. So um, in case you hadn't seen it before, Dorothy and I are doing a collaborative project together where we're using this set of um, pockets and things for a journal. So um, it comes as a set of SVG files for electronic cutting machines and it also comes as a set of printable templates to make um, a journal. Um, with all of these bits and pieces so that's available in my Etsy store and I'll put the link down below so we're using this one we're both using this one and then we're both using this set of graphic designs and journal pages and ephemera from done by Dorothy's Etsy store so, and I'll put the link to that down below as well so we're both using these two to create a journal so that's what I've been working on and I've done quite a few videos so far and my journal got really huge so then I made a suitcase <laughs> to put my journal in and there's a video on how I constructed this one as well and then um, I got a little bit carried away as I do and in the last video I made a little wallet to go in here and I haven't I haven't embellished it yet I'm I'm leaving most of my embellishing to the end and this is my um, journal and as you can see it's um, a bit chunky I haven't finished this one yet either but then I decided I wanted to put something else in here and so today I'm going to make an Altoid tin. So um, I have made these before on camera and I'll also put the link to that video here. Um, this is the one I think I made on camera. So this is the little faux Altoid tin and um, it comes as a set of SVG files and it also comes as a set of printable templates. So. Um, these are available in my Etsy store so you can make your own little Altoid tins um, either as a printed set of print printable templates or as an SVG file so all options are covered there and um, let's put you over there because I like looking at you <laughs> and the SVG and the printable templates come with the um, bits and pieces to make this little accordion um, booklet that's in here as well. We're not going to do that today. I'm just making the little um, the little Altoid tin to go in my suitcase, but this is what the little um, um, Accordion book looks like and it comes with belly bands and pockets and all sorts of things so that you can make that yourself But we're not doing this today But it is in the other video. So you're welcome to go and check out that other video Okay, so I'm not going to talk about anything about um, the templates themselves. I'm just going to show you what they look like so I can tell you what I've cut out. So, I mean, that's not a very big picture, is it? It'll be a bit tricky to look at. Um, do I have anything else I can show you? I must have one somewhere, but anyway, there's not too much to it, so we'll figure it out as we go along. This is just the guide that you get when you um, purchase the SVG files. It come, you get this little screenshot so you know what each of the pieces is. But today I'm cutting the pieces that are in blue out of cardstock and the pieces in pink I have cut out of some paper from one of Dorothy's kits. And I think the one that I'm using today is... I've got so many bits of paper over here. I'm using one of the basic pattern roses. And it's just the um, black and white one. So anyway, I've cut all my little bits out. I've got um, two little lots of pieces here. So let me show you. Now those are my mats. So let's pop those to the side. And remember that these are the mats for the lid. I should have written that down. Okay, the lid is there. So for the lid, I've cut out two of these pieces here, and that's this one here, and I've cut out the blue piece in this craft cardstock, and there's two of those. And then for the lid, I've also cut out these um, tin lid pieces here, two of those in cardstock as well, so that's these two. And that's all we need to make the lid, so let's just go ahead and make the lid, shall we? So we'll just pop that to the side, and all we're going to do is these pieces here I've already folded on the score lines and we just need to glue them together so let's just do that so 
um, this little tab here I'm just going to pop some glue on there my glue is not going to come out uh, let's just stick a pin in there there we go okay so I'm just going to put some glue on this little tab here and then I'm going to join those two together like that just give it a minute to set up The kids next door are home from school and it's Friday afternoon so they're having a blast outside. Okay, so those two are stuck together like that. So now I'm going to put some glue all the way along this straight tab here. So let's do that. All the way along here. Maybe back again a bit more. And then I'm just going to press it down on top of itself like so. Oops, maybe a little less violently. And then this one, just like that. I'm trying to, anyway. <laughs> there we go. So this is fun. I've been going back over some um, things that I've made before that I haven't made for a while, like the little wallet and the suitcase and now this little owl toy tin. I've been having a blast. Okay, so then we have this little bit here and I have not lined it up very well. So I'm just going to um, just kind of taper that in a little bit so that it doesn't look so obvious. And then I'll just put a bit more um, ink on it. Okay, so then we just take one of these lids, these lid pieces, and what we're going to do is drop some drops of drop some drops drop some glue on each of these little teeth and we're going to wrap it around so um, I think I want to start it on the short side and I think I might want to start it from this end with the tab as I say it's been a minute since I've done this so we're going to find out how I go so I'm just put a little drop on each one whoops, of these little teeth. Da, 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 da. So this is going to go in my suitcase with my junk journal and all the extra little inserts that I made for my junk journal that now won't fit. <laughs> and um, I can pop some little bits and pieces in here. So I'm just trying to get that to stick a little bit first before I then wrap it around. So I'm putting the teeth underneath. Okay. I'm just working it around. And I'm going to get a bit of glue, but that's okay. I can live with that. We can wipe that up afterwards. Just keep going around, really hugging that little base, uh, the little base of the lid. And around again, like so. It's just popped out a little bit over there. Just pressing it down on those teeth to hopefully grip it. I need to wipe up a bit of glue so I can get in there. Around here popped out a little bit here so I'm just going to grab my bone folder and just encourage it to stay there there we go and then around here and then I'm just going to put some glue on this tab on this outside section so then we can bring this around and glue it together with that tab hope you can see and then I'm just gluing that together with that tab, like so. Right, so now I'm just going to clean some of that glue up. And then I'm just going to go around with my bone folder and just sort of make sure that it's really um, firmly stuck 
to that um, edge there. I'm pretty happy with that. Looks good. Okay, and then so on the back here you can see that we can see our teeth. And these guys somehow have lost their glue. So I'm just going to pop another little blob of glue on those little teeth. And give those a little press down. Press it down here. There we go. Okay, and then this piece here. Oh look, there's a bit missing off these two as well. Just want to make sure those teeth are stuck down. Bit there and a bit there, pop those down and then just give them a press from this side. There we go, it's not going anywhere. And then this piece here, I'm going to stick on top like that and it will hopefully cover up most of those teeth. I might just run around with my bone folder and just smooth out that edge a little bit it would be better to do that when it's dry but never mind okay so now I'm going to put some glue on this one going to drop that on top and line it up when I'm happy with that. I'm just going to press it down like so. my lid done. There we go. I'll pop it together. Make sure it's really firmly attached. And that's my lid. Okay, so now I've got some little mats for that. So these are the mats that were on there. So for the tin lid, I've cut my mats out of the pink size pieces, so they're just a little touch smaller. And I've cut two of those, one for the inside and one for the outside. And then I've cut this tiny skinny little mat here, I've cut four of those, two for the inside and two for the outside. So then I'm going to attach my, my mat. this side like so just like that and then I'll do it on this side when usually when I finish these I'll take them outside and give them a little spray with um, a clear acrylic sealer whatever you've got um, there's a, there's a Mod Podge spray that you can use and I have used it before and it's good but um, you know you can just buy stuff from the hardware store it doesn't have to be fancy and pop that one in there and then I have the four skinny little pieces here did I get that up the right way? yep I'll just give it a little press with my bone folder although it doesn't appear to be going anywhere Okay, so I'm going to start this on the side so that it finishes on the side. Um, so I'm going to join them together so there's a tiny little tab on one end. I'll put a bit of glue on that. And then I'm going to attach it to this one on the side that doesn't have a little tab. So I'm just going to glue those together like that. So I'm going to do the same one with this one for the inside. So put a little bit of glue on that tab. And then this one. 
and there. Ooh. Straight would be better. <laughs> okay. So then I'm just going to attach, a, put a little bit of glue on this tab here. And I just like to start on the side. I might start on this side. I'm not really sure why, just because. And when it's, I'm just going to pop that into place and give it a little second to grab because otherwise it will start slithering, slithering around while I'm trying to attach it. And then I'm just going to run some glue all the way down there. All the way down there. I have to stop making things for this journal and start finishing it off the embellishing. But now I think I've done everything I need so I can just sit down and embellish it all together. I just got glue all over there. So I'm just running this around outside. Like so, got glue everywhere, and this one, like so, let's just centre that up, and then just attach that over the top there, and I've got a nice little finished lid on the outside and then I'm just going to do the same on the inside so I'll just pop a little bit of glue on here I'm going to attach it here oh not very straight Katie there we go like that and then I'm just going to run some glue down here all the way down like so and then we just need to attach this now you just have to um, give it a little bit of attention when you're going around the corner to make sure that it sticks properly to that corner I can run that down along here can make sure that it fits there. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to slam that down. I sort of dropped it as I was putting it down. And along here. Like so. And nearly done. Around there. And then, once I'm happy with that, I'll just run my bone folder along there, carefully around the corners, carefully around the corner, carefully around the corner. And that is my little lid. Okay, so now I'm going to make the base. So I think I might do that off camera because it's exactly the same method as the lid, but it's the base pieces. So in this instance, I've got the two base cut, two of the base pieces. So that's these two here, and I've cut the blue piece underneath. Two of those out of cardstock, and then I've cut two of this piece, this wider piece here. So it's like the sides, but it's a bit wider. I've cut two of those side pieces for the base, and I'm going just going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to join them together fold this down and glue it and then glue it around the base and then pop the new base on top and then put the mats on. So I'll go ahead and do that and then when we come back I will show you how to join the two together with the little hinges. I've got two little hinges here. Okay, so I'll see you in a minute once I've done my base. Okay, so I'm back and I've done my little base and I've joined the two together. It's a bit of a tight fit at the moment, but I'm thinking after a bit of use it will get better. But now I've just got these two little um, hinges here and um, on the picture there's two little guys here. So 
I've just um, cut those out and inked around them and folded them on the line and then I'm going to put them on the back of my um, little box so I'm just going to put glue on one side I'm going to fold it up in half and put glue on one side just going to do one bit at a time and then I'm going to put this on the top and I think I'll put it about here and I just want to make sure that I've given my hinge it's like sitting right on the edge of my top so if you can see that so then when I glue that down it'll be sitting right in the spot that it needs to so I'm just going to leave that there and I'll do the same with this one. And I'm trying to get it about the same, but I haven't measured it. Does that look about right? Yeah, that's about right. Okay, so then I'm just going to give it a press with my bone folder without moving it hopefully and then I can put glue on these two and here ah oh, it's noisy next door they must be having a barbecue or something and then I'm just going to push that down and this one and that's my little Altoid tin. So now I can decorate it or embellish it. Might put some flowers and some lace or something on it. So that's that. So I don't want to open it now because they're not dry. But as you can see, it's a little Altoid tin. And um, it's just the same as these ones. So these ones here I made. And this, is, this paper um, tin topper is actually from... Uh, Tracy Fox and um, so you can see that the Altoid tin that I've made the faux Altoid tin that I've made is the perfect size and it just opens up like that and this one here I love this one superior safety pins so it just opens up like that and I have just stuck the um, hinges on the back of those like this one but for my original one that I made here I put some brads in there as well and I thought that looked pretty nifty um, and this one I've just made with some um, atlas paper and I love it I think it's fabulous and this has got a little book in it as well um, and it's all just tied up in there so that's that one so anyway this one here is now going to go in my um, suitcase with all my bits and pieces so that's another thing that can go in in my um, with my junk journal so um, now I've got no excuses I'm not going to make anything else I just need to em finish embellishing all the things that I've already made and then I can finally come back and do a flip through yay <laughs> So thanks very much for joining me today guys um, on this project where I've gone off on a crazy tangent um, but I just couldn't help myself so anyway um, I hope you come back and see what it's all like when it's finished and everything's inside here and everything's finished in the journal otherwise I hope to see you guys again soon thanks very much for your time today bye for now bye